Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you from a landscape here in Jackson County, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to one of the more unusual willows that you'll find occasionally in the landscape. I don't think it's near as common as it used to be, and it's called Pussy Willow. It's got many characteristics that are very similar to other willows, but is very unique in other, other ways. So Pussy Willow is native to Ohio. It's native to the more northern portions of the state, and it's also native to most of the Lake States region, into the northeastern United States, and much of Canada. So Pussy Willow, like all the other willows, has alternate leaves. The leaves alternate sides of the twig. Um, these leaves are two to four inches long. Unlike the other willows, it's much broader. Most willows have very narrow and very long leaves and proportionally they're much longer than they are wide. These are, are quite a bit longer than they are wide, but they're half inch to an inch wide by two to four inches in length. They're kind of whitish on the underside, a little bit fuzzy, and then they have these widely spaced teeth. They're not as uniformly toothed as many of the other willows. So again, a bigger leaf than most of the willows, quite a bit broader, and about two to four inches long. The twigs have buds that alternate sides like the leaves, these buds are unique in that, like all willows, they have a single bud scale cap. So that bud scale covers the entire bud. So you've got a covering that just totally encircles that bud. And then in the spring, when the flower buds start to break, the bud scale just pops off and it, it's, it just totally envelops the bud. What's unique about the willows is they, they flower very early in the spring. And most willows don't put on much of a show but the pussy willow does a really good job of putting, on, putting out these big, large, fuzzy buds. They can be about an inch long, and those are the flower buds. They're male and female. These will get a, they're kind of a gray and fuzzy color, and then eventually as they mature, you'll see some yellow uh, tinges throughout the, the flowers as well. Um, in the, later in the spring, they'll produce these clusters of fruit that kind of dissipate and disappear fairly quickly. Um, before the, the growing season really kicks in. Another characteristic of the willows are the bark. This one's fairly smooth still, but they can start splitting and start to become a little bit stringy. And what I've noticed on this, you've got these little dots and little triangle shapes in them, very similar to what you would find in the aspens. And again, aspens are in the same family, Salicaceae, as the willows. So that's a characteristic that you'll find, especially in big tooth aspen, and I'm seeing it quite a bit here with the pussy willow. So again, what we're looking for are really neat twigs. These are reddish to greenish in color. They have alternating buds. In the winter, the buds don't look extremely large, but in the spring, they'll start to swell. And then as they swell, the bud cap will pop off and reveal these beautiful fuzzy flowers that are gonna put on quite a show here in the next week or two. So thank you so very much for your time. And please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.